So over here I have a table and let's say we want to work with its formatting. So we can see that right now the table has nothing uh, and it is just a, uh, just a transparent table right here. If I want to work with its settings, you can see that once I select the table, you can see that table tool appears right here, which has the design and the layout options. So I'm going to go into the design first and I'm going to work with the basic uh, formatting of this. So let's say I want borders to be seen. In order to do that, you can see that there's borders over here and here you can choose whether you just want the border on the right. So if I were to do that, you can see that there's a border on the right. But in my case, I want to make sure that the border is everywhere. So I'm going to say all borders right here. So there's the borders right there. But this is quite thick and I want to change the border style as well. So you can do that by going on to here and you can see that there are borders of smaller sizes right here. So you can go for half points and you can see that the border actually changes. So I chose half point and I'm going to say all borders right here and you can see that that changes. Let me just go uh, all borders. There you go. So you can see that half point border has been applied now. You can also go over here, go for a smaller border size, go for all borders, just like this, all borders, enable and disable. And you can see that you got a smaller border size right there. So that is how you can work with border sizes. You can also work with line colors, so you can choose different colors of your choices. But you do have to select the border, uh, just like that, no border, and all border again, so that it is reapplied. So the color has been changed just like that. Let me choose a thicker border so that you can see the difference and you can see that there's a preview right there. So no border, and border again, all border, it has been applied, just like that. Uh, another thing you can do is uh, you can fill this up with a color. So let's say this is the title bar and I want to fill it up with something like yellow color right here. And that has been filled up. I can also merge individual cells right here. So let's say I, I want to merge these two and merge these three. So I'm going to select these two. I'm going to go into my layout settings right here. And I can do something called merge cells. And once I do that, this has been turned into a single cell as you can see. And I want to merge these three as well. So I'm going to click and drag and I want to merge this out. So merge cells and you can see that those has been merged as well. So that is how you can work with the formattings of tables in Microsoft Publisher. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.